So you saying this is the same thing that happened with Muhammad and Gabriel, right? Yeah. Watch this. Who bore record? Who what? Who bore? Who bear record? So John bear record. When you bear record of something, what do you do, Vaughn? Record. When you bear record of something, that means you write it down. That's Read. Who bear record uh -huh. of the word of God. Read. And of the testimony of Jesus Christ. And of what? And of the testimony of Jesus Christ. Read. And of all things that he saw. So now, first of all, the Bible says when somebody gives you a revelation, when God gave you your revelation, that prophet, he wrote it down. Muhammad couldn't even write. Right. He didn't know how to write. He didn't know, and then he didn't know how to read. The, 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 the birth of Islam, after Muhammad became a camel driver, he traveled. He traveled to remote and in, intriguing lands. Uh -huh. He led his caravans to Persia, Syria, and Egypt, read. transacting business with merchants of every kind. Read. On his business trips, he met Jews. He, on his business trips, he met who? He met Jews. Read. Christians. Uh -huh. And members of other sects. Yep. He interrogated them concerning the tenets of their religions. So when Muhammad was around the Jews, he interrogated them. Hey, tell me about this. Tell me how y'all keep the laws. Tell me how you do this. Y'all got one God? Tell me about it. Tell me about it. He took that, conglomerated into one, and that's how he came up with one God. Jeez, huh? He got it from the Jews. Read that, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Read. For thou art an holy people. Start at 1 and 1. Who is God talking about as a holy people? Because we just read out of the Quran. Out of your Quran, it said Allah preferred who? Over everybody. The Israelite people at the time. Israelite people, at right? The, listen, listen. Watch, at, read. Listen, at the, time. the book of Deuteronomy chapter Watch. 1 verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. To who? Unto all Israel. So your Quran just said he preferred Israel over the whole world. Let's see where he got that from. Read seven and six. I got your question. Watch this. Because he got, what does Quran mean? What is, what's your name, bro? Keith, what does Quran mean? I ain't saying you believe in it. Do you know what it means? It means to recite. What does it recite? We need to, to recite the words of God. What is the Quran reciting? The words of God. Where is the words of God found? I agree. Where is it found? Three and The what? Where is the words of God found? You said that's what it's reciting. Where is the words of God found? God, God has revealed this Quran upon Prophet Muhammad. Revelation 19.13. Where is you, the words of you No, I agree. I agree with you. Okay. You said the Quran means to recite. Yeah. We said we agree. So where is the Quran reciting from? You said the words of God. I said we agree. Right? Yeah. Okay. What is the word of God found? Where is it found? It was a revelation. From who? I agree. From, What's this? From Read. God. The from book of Revelation. Speaking of Revelation, this Revelation. Chapter 19, verse 13. Read you. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. So this person was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. I mean, when he came back, he did a lot of killing. Talking about Jesus the Christ, right. the black Messiah. You know Jesus was black, didn't you? Read. And his name is called the Word of God. What is his name? The Word of God. So we actually agree. When you said he got it from the Word of God, he got it from the Holy Bible. That's right. That's where he recited it from. Do you, do you, do you believe in the Bible? I believe in the whole Bible. Okay, right. Do you believe in the Quran? No, because the Quran just told us Watch this. If I did believe in the Quran, when we read the Quran just now, it told us to read what? To read what? It told us that he preferred who? He preferred Israel I over all the worlds, right? I Amos time. 3 and 1. Jeremiah Drop that. 3 and 2. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You already know. You got it.
Appreciate it. Matter of fact, get that first. Jeremiah 3. If the Quran told us mm -hmm. to read yeah. what God gave to Moses, mm -hmm. what did God give Moses? Did he give him a Quran? A Torah. He gave him the Torah. To Where Moses. is the Torah found? The Torah and Tanakh. Where is it found? It's found in the Holy Bible. That's right. So if he told you to listen to Moses, the Torah, and the Tanakh, or the prophets, where should you be going to learn your spirituality, who you are, how to get to the kingdom? If your book told you to go somewhere else, you should be going where? To the book that it told you to go to. Right. It told you to go here. Read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 3 and verse 2. Yeah. Lift up thine eyes unto the high places. You know what those high places are? Those high places is what they call cobblestones. That's what it's going into. Our people was in the midst of slavery and captivity. That's right. And they was worshiping all these high places. They were worshiping other gods. You feel me? Read. Right. And see where thou hast not been lying with. Uh-huh. In the ways as thou set for them. Where? As the Arabian. As the what? As the Arabian. Because we are the children of Israel. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans make up the children of Israel. That's right. So when it said we set and learned the ways of the Arabians, meaning we left our nationality in captivity and we began to be Islam. We began to follow the Quran. Right here. Where is that? Uh, yeah, right there. All right here. Islam. Do you know who this guy is? No. Who is? Did you know who 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 was Quran founded by? See that again? Who was the Quran founded? You can drop off. Who was the Quran founded by? Okay, let me let me answer. The Quran, yes. Allah or God has okay. revealed. Okay, God has revealed His words upon His final messenger, who is Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam. And then, okay, so he he, he came. He delivered it unto Muhammad. To right. Muhammad. He came so to confirm. He came to confirm which came before him, which is the Bible. Okay. You hear me? Okay, now the here's Quran, my question. The Quran came to confirm what Jesus Christ brought to us. Okay. Can now you here's, understand that? Now here's my question. Mm -hmm. When you said that revelation that he put on Muhammad, do we got the Bible on the 10 book 2 out here? Do we got it? Got it. Could Muhammad read or write? Uh oh! Because if somebody gave you a revelation, you should be able to take that revelation. Matter of fact, what you got? Still at Jeremiah. Give me Revelation 1. Drop, out, drop that. Drop all that. Give me Revelation 1. Do you know the fact you don't hold believe on, in the on. Quran? No, no. I, no, listen. I asked you. What, listen. Okay, okay. I, I said this. I said if I did believe in it, when we read it, it told us to go to the Bible. Where? Well, yeah. Where the Quran said that? It said in 2 Sur, uh -huh. chapter 2, yeah. verse 122. It said he bestowed Israel mm -hmm. over everybody. It doesn't mean to follow to follow the, give me that, the Israel people. Give me that. No, give just me that in the I, Quran I, where it says they go follow Moses. The tour. It's in. I think it's 132. I think. You know like, what I want? Uh, bro, we all have to read down. to come to God. What I want? Don't what worship want. nothing besides. Yep. Watch God. this. Watch this. This book right here. Watch this. Bible, Bible. This book right here is called Babylon the Ten Book Two. Right. Okay. Let's okay. get some history on Muhammad. Read. Babylon 10, 2. Uh -huh. Islam and Judaism. Read. The prophet Muhammad adopted many principles and laws. So he adopted many principles and laws. Read. From the Jewish religion. Uh -oh. now, wait, wait a minute. It say Jewish because the ish means pertaining to something like, but Muhammad got his information from the Jews. That's right. His principles and his laws from the Jews. See, we celebrate one, we we worship one God. That's right. Y'all will celebrate 365 gods. Y'all had a God for one day or every day of the year. Right. But he learned how the Jews get down, and he said, you know what? We want one God just like that. That's how y'all came up with Allah. That's how y'all came up with it. Allah means God in the Arabic language. First of Allah all, the Allah basic idea of monotheism. Watch this. Which is the belief in one God. What happened? The Jewish confession of the unity of God is. So, Muhammad got the principle to have one God from who? Read that part again. The basic idea? It says, first of all, the basic idea of monotheism. 
which is the belief in one God. Because they had many gods. Right. They celebrated a God every day, a different God every day of the year for 365 days out of the year. Right. But we only got one. I lost, I lost the Read that. God God God. 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 I lost the, the fourth God. out of all 300. Wow, he's they the fourth. And they chose him out of everybody, and that's where they get the crescent moon from. There you go. Read that. Yeah. Oh, Give me verse. Start at verse one. The Let's book see. of Revelations, chapter one and verse one. Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. which God gave unto him. The him is John the Revelator. What's your name, bro? Kevon. 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 What's your name? I mean, uh, how you doing, bro? You good? What's your nationality? Just African American. African -American? We gonna get that in a second. Pay attention. What you believe in? Say God. You believe in the Bible? Oh, great. Watch this. Read. So we're speaking about a revelation because you said, Muhammad, no, you good on that? Oh, you found it? Yeah, I found it. Okay, you said Muhammad had a revelation. Don't go no way. I'm just stay right here. Read that. To show unto his servants uh -huh. things which must shortly come to pass. Now you said. God came down with a revelation and gave it to Muhammad, right? Hold on. Is that God, what you said? God, listen to you. No, that's what you said. God revealed, listen. Yes. God sent upon Muhammad an angel to Gabriel and gave him exactly. the revelation. I got you. And he said he took that revelation and he did something with it, right? Watch this. Read. And he sent uh -huh. and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. So you said this is the same thing that happened with Muhammad and Gabriel, right? Yeah. Watch this. Who bore record? Who what? Who bore? Who bear record? So John bear record. When you bear record of something, what do you do, Vaughn? Bear record. When you bear record of something, that means you write it down. That's Read. Who bear record uh -huh. of the word of God? Read. And of the testimony of Jesus Christ. And of what? And of the testimony of Jesus Christ. Read. And of all things that he saw. So now, first of all, the Bible says. When somebody gives you a revelation, when God gave you a revelation, that prophet, he wrote it down. Muhammad couldn't even write. Right. Why? He didn't know how to write. He didn't know, and then he read. didn't know how to read. The, 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 the birth of Islam, after Muhammad became a camel driver, he traveled, he traveled to remote and intr intriguing lands. Uh -huh. He led his caravans to Persia, Syria, and Egypt, read. transacting business with merchants of every kind. Read. On his business trips, he met Jews. He, on his business trips, he met who? He met Jews, Read. Christians, uh -huh. and members of other sects. Yep. He interrogated them concerning the tenets of their religions. So when Muhammad was around the Jews, he interrogated them. Hey, tell me about this. Tell me how y'all keep the laws. Tell me how you do this. Y'all got one God? Tell me about it. Tell me about it. He took that conglomerated into one, and that's how he came up with one God. Jeez, huh? He got it from the Jews. Right. right. Read on. He frequented the environment of the Jews and their rabbis, mostly because they were merchants in an um, omnipresent ethnic group. Here's the point. Watch this. Because. Stay there. Stay there. Mm -hmm. Because he could not read or write. He could what? He could not read could not. or write. Muhammad could not read or write. But God said his prophets, when he give them a revelation, they will be able to read it and write it down. That's right. right. Muhammad couldn't read it or write, so how did he give a revelation? I got something else for you. You got me off? Yep, yep. You good. Hey. Look at this. Slavery in the Arab world. Wow. Let's read it. The sale of so many slaves from different parts of Muslim Africa as well as from India and Java, help assure a continuing rich and very supply of servile labor in slave markets of Mecca and Jedia. Pilgrims arriving from Iraq, Syria, Persia, and other parts of the Middle East frequented these markets, and many brought back with them newly purchased slaves. So bro, in Mecca, bro, let me, it, oh, 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 the Sub-Saharan slave trade oh, oh, oh. is when the Arabs were selling Jews. Yes, they right. were selling the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, which is who you are. Because you ain't an African-American, according to the Bible, you are from the tribe of Judah. Right. So have you ever heard of the Arabs selling your people? You ain't never heard of that. It's called the Sub-Saharan 
slave trade. This it right here. They were it was getting slaves sold all through Mecca. That's right. That's how we became Islam. When we sat down and learned their ways in the midst of Arabia. When we was in slavery. What you got? Joel 3. Drop everything else. Joel 3. Let's get it. The book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 1. For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. So in that day, he will bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. Judah is, is hey, come, hey, come turn it on. Yep. Judah is Judah. Come right, come right here, Vaughn. Judah is Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Right? I think you got it. And Israel is from Ephraim on down. You got it? Read. Verse 2. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. That's the valley of decision. Read. And will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel, uh -huh. whom they have scattered among, among the nations and parted my land. So when they parted the land of Jerusalem, they took God's chosen people, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which are the Israelites, and they sold them off into slavery and scattered them through the four corners of the earth. Right. The Arabs do that to those people. Yeah. Okay. No, you kept talking, you kept talking. I didn't talk, right? Okay, go ahead. Let me, let me talk. Okay. You say you don't believe in the Quran, right? Two seconds. It's, it's up to you. I got you. But, okay. okay. Everybody here, between Jesus Christ and God, who has made us? Oh, yeah. I got the who has made us? Yeah. Who, has, who has created the earth and the heavens? Uh -huh. Between Jesus Christ and God, who has done this job? Those jobs. Who has created God and Jesus done the job? I agree. I said between between those between because you said uh -huh. I, I'm saying between Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and God, who has created the heaven and the earth? Who has created the whole humankind? Do you, that's the question that you want. Yeah. Colossians one. Elijah 1 to 15. Let's see. Let's get it. But you understand that Arab sold Israelites now, right? You understand that Arab sold Israelites. No, I cannot understand that because y'all keep reading in the Bible and then you told me you don't believe in the Quran. I said, so it means, oh yeah, we do. Yeah. So, so it means what? It, it means what? Get that next. Get Isaiah 41, 21 next. Hold on. Bro, watch it. Hold on. No, 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 no. Hey, right here. Vine, right here, right here. Right here. Pay attention. Watch this. You asked the question. You said who created yeah. everything? Colossians 1, 15. Get that in a second. You good. Breathe. The book of Colossians, chapter 1, verse 15. Start at, first four, uh, start at verse 13. Verse 13. Who have delivered us from the power of darkness uh -huh. and have translated us into the kingdom of this dear son. Of his. Of his dear son. So we was translated into the kingdom of his dear son. Right? Read in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Who died on the cross and used his blood so we can get forgiveness of sins, Vaughn? Jesus. So the son that is talking about here is safe to say is who? Bro, this is not my answer. Oh, this is oh, not my oh, question. It's, it's bring it out. The, point, the script, hold up. What's your name, bro? Musa. Musa. Is Moses. The scripture says we have to explain it precept upon precept. That's right. We have to get it out. I'm not done. I'm just getting, I'm just explaining it to you so you can keep up with us. Okay, bro. Y'all, you get me, Vaughn? So the person that died on the cross for our sins was who? Jesus. Do you believe that? Jesus Christ has never died. And then, let me okay. tell you. Okay, read Jesus that. Jesus Christ is okay. alive with, with God. We agree. Jesus Christ is alive there. But then he physically died they, on earth. They didn't kill him. They didn't. I, okay. God uh, has hold mis, up. mischanged his face upon their own their own one, and then they okay. kill their own one as they think they thought it was Jesus that Jesus Christ didn't die. Okay. God, God okay. saved his, his servant. We agree. God saved his, his messenger. Okay. We agree. Okay. okay. Christ is up there with the most high. We agree. God, uh, Jesus Christ isn't dead, and then he will surely come back on this earth we to, agree. to complete his mission before, we agree. before he died. We, we agree. Okay. okay. We agree. Okay. okay. Read that. Verse 15, who is the image of the invisible God? So this person, this man who died on the cross for our sins, the Bible says he is the image of the invisible God. If you are the image 
of something, that means you look like that image, right? If you are the image of your father, that means you look just like him. So Christ is the image of the invisible God, means he looked just like God. Read. You know who did that? Oh, so you gotta let it finish. You yeah, ask me okay. a question. Okay, my That's fair, right? No, no yeah, okay. that's fair. My bad, bro. Every time we who? Speak, cut us off. I got you. Who is the image of the invisible God? Mm -hmm. The firstborn of every creature. So you was correct. You said God created Christ. You was correct. Christ is the firstborn creature of everybody. He was the first one that was made by God. So you was right. We agree. Read. For by him, by him, which is Christ, for by him were all things created. Were what? Were all things created. Was what? All things created. So who created everything according to that? God. Read it again. Vine, who created everything according to that? God. Gonna Everybody's going to say hey, God. Y'all come close. Y'all come close. Watch this. Y'all come close. Come close. Come close. Come close. Come close. Y'all believe in the Bible? You believe in the Bible? So read verse. Yep. Read this. Tell me who this is. Read. The book of Colossians, chapter 1, verse 14. Read. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Who died on the cross so we can get forgiven for sins? Jesus. Jesus. Right. right? So the topic is who? The top, so far, the topic is who? Jesus. Jesus. Read the next verse. Verse 15. Who is the image of the invisible God? It said Jesus is the image of the invisible God, meaning he looks just like his father. Right. That makes sense, right? Read. Watch this. The firstborn of every creature. He's the firstborn of every creature because Christ was the first thing that God, first creature that God made. Yeah. That makes sense. You got me, Vaughn? Read. For by him, by him, who's the him? Jesus. Jesus, read. For by him were all things created. So who created everything? Jesus. Thank you. That was that was easy to be understood. Right. So who created everything, Vaughn? It what? Thank you. That's what the Bible says. Now I got another question. What's your nationality? You got something? What's your nationality? What? Black, Vaughn said, Vaughn said he was African American, but he understands now that he's from the tribe of Judah. That's yeah. Yeah. Uh, Give me, yep, yeah, give me that. Say it again, Hebrew 7. What you say? You said black? You said Judah? Yeah. What's your nationality, sis? It's okay. There you go. Um, that land over there ain't called Africa. It was named after a white man. You did, say it again? So who's Indian? Your father, your mother. <laughs> Okay, Indian just means slave. Are you a slave? So we, we back to square one. American comes from another white man named Amerigo Vespucci. Africa was called Akibola. Africa was actually coming from the land of Ham. But, but, hey look, listen, pay attention. African American came from two white men. It was made by Jesse Jackson in 1986. He came up with that term, African American. He came up with it. We agree. And Hebrew, and Hebrew and Latin used to cross over, like cross over a lake or cross okay. over a bridge. Okay. Okay. All right. So, so, so what I mean is, okay. Indians means the indigenous people of. of it means of, slave. Now, right now, I'm giving, I'm, 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 Indian means slave. Indian don't mean slave. What's your nationality? I'm spiritual. So basically, based on okay. what I'm saying, I'm going to the ancestors. I'm going to African American. So yeah. All right, God. Keep stay calm. You can It comes from. Huh? Ham. It's the land of Ham. From Shem, Ham, and Japheth. You know Noah? Huh? Huh? H-A-M. Ham. Land of Ham. You ever heard of Noah? He had three sons. Shem, Ham, and Japheth. That region over there, that countryside, that was given to Ham. And it was named after that land. Don't get sidetracked. Where we at? So, I named African American because that's what our people call themselves. But that's the name of two white men. Right. So you can't be African American because two men, whether the, regardless of the race, can't get together and make no lineage of people with no women there. Right. So you can't be African American. You see why I asked you that earlier, Vaughn? So now, what is your nationality? She said black. Black is the color of your pants. This ain't the validity. Right. This ain't. So now, y'all look on up here. Watch it. Excuse me, Moose. 
Yeah. Don't go nowhere. Stay right there. Stay right there. Don't go nowhere. According to the Bible. Right here, sis. According to the Bible. What's your name, bro? In the blue? What's your name? Uh, Alvin. Alvin? Yeah. So according to the Bible, all of y'all are from the tribe of Judah. Yes, yes, right? That's what the Bible says. So now, who else? Matter of fact, hold, get, Deuteronomy 76. Why are we telling y'all this? Why is this special? Why is it important to know that you're from the tribe of Judah and that you're an Israelite? Why is it important? What does it matter? Because, get the fly, get the fly, get the fly, get the fly. Why does it matter? The reason why I'm asking is because we walked around here for many centuries calling ourselves African Americans, calling ourselves Native Indians, calling ourselves Cubans, calling ourselves Jamaicans, and we were just calling ourselves these names, but we did not know the meaning of it. So what is the meaning in us saying that you're Israelites? What is the meaning in saying that you're from the tribe of Judah? You're an Israelite too, Moose. You're an Israelite too. We, we gonna work on it. You are all right. I like you. You are all right. Read Deuteronomy 7, 6. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Read. For thou art an holy people. So God told the Israelites that you are an holy people. Read. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Unto who? Unto himself. So God specifically chose the Israelites to be his special people over who? Read on. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So God chose the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, to be above everybody on the face of the earth. That's why it's important to know who the Israelites are, because those are God's chosen people. That's right. Matthew 15, 24. If they are God's chosen people, then I got a question to ask. When Christ died on the cross, did he die for everybody? So yeah? What's your name, Moses? I, I, I already told you Jesus Christ isn't dead. Oh yeah, right. He, he up there with the Father. The cross. We agree. So, uh, they didn't kill him. Did he die for everybody? Okay. I'm just, I'm, I'm just asking. What's your, what's your name, brother? John. John? What you think? It's up to you. It's up to you. Remember, we're talking about how Israelites is God's chosen people. We just established, we got a foundation of why we say y'all are special. Just got a foundation, right? Read that. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. Read. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but... Hold up. What color are the letters? Red. With the Bible, if the letters are written in red, who's speaking? Jesus. Jesus, right? Read. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now, the Bible says that Jesus the Christ only came on earth for the children of Israel. That's right. We established earlier that blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which y'all are, are the chosen people of God. Right. Huh. And Christ only came down for those particular people. Acts 5, 29. That's right. What you had, wait? Bro, can you give me five Acts minutes? Acts 5. I got you. I got you. Let me let me get them because they don't un understand who they are. I was here That's first, fast. bro. I was here first. I got you. I got you, Moose. I got you. <laughs> Read. Matthew, uh, yep, Acts 5. The book of Acts, chapter 5. Verse 29. Yep. Verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. That's fair, right? We should believe what God say other than men, right? That's fair. Vaughn, you agree? Read. The God of our fathers uh -huh. raised up Jesus. Raised up Jesus. Whom ye slew. Who, what, what happened to Jesus? Whom ye slew. Because he said earlier that Jesus didn't get killed. But whom what? Whom ye slew. What does it mean to slew somebody? It means you killed them. That's right. But you said he did. But that's enough time. Read. And hanged on a tree. And he was hung on a cross. Right. It's a tree because the cross is made out of what? There you That's go. That's right. how easy that is. But he said he never died. But you know, you know. Read. Verse 31. Uh -huh. Him have God exalted. So Christ have God exalted. With his right hand uh -huh. to be a prince. Right. And a savior uh -huh. for, 
to give repentance. Let's see who Christ became a prince and a savior for to give repentance to who? Who did Christ down the cross for to give repentance to? What y'all say? Us. He said. Us was us. Uh, uh, his people. people. His people. Yeah. Say, Mom. His people. Repentance to who? To, for to give repentance to Israel and, what? and right. forgiveness of sins. So wait a minute. So the reason why we telling you how special you are according to the Bible, how that you Israelites, is because Christ only came to this earth to die on the cross for your sin. That's right. right. He didn't do that for everybody on the planet. Right. That ain't in the Bible. That ain't in the Bible. Right. Y'all understand that? Yes. Give me 2 Ezra 6. Drop all that. 2 Ezra 6, 54. 2 Ezra 6 and 54. So, hey, bro, what's your name? My name is Huh? Justin. What's your nationality, Justin? Uh, I'm mixed. Oh, what's your father? Uh, he, he's Native American. He's Native American. So, according to the Bible, Justin, you are from the mighty tribe of Gad. Right. You were Israelite too? Right. That's right. You know that, Justin? You know you was Israelite? So we got Gad, Judah, Judah, Jew. And me. Israelite. What's your, what's your nationality, Mommy, says? Uh, I'm black. We got Judah right here too. Hey. All praise to the Most High. Where we at? Read that. The book of Second Edges, chapter six, verse fifty-four. Read. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. So, who was the first man created? Who's the first person created? And I was like, what are we Adam. Doing? And she goes, she leaving us. Adam, right? Uh huh. The first person created was Adam, right? His wife was who? Eve. Eve. Read. And Jehovah was what else? Of him come we all. Everybody comes from Adam. Right? Everybody comes from Adam because Adam was the first man created. Right? Man plants his seed. That's where babies come from. All right? See, that's another topic. I ain't gonna go there. I see, I see your face, John. Yeah, yeah. Ch children come from us. It don't come from them. That's right. Read. And the people also of whom thou hast chosen. So when Adam, everybody came from Adam. I'm showing y'all how special y'all are. Yeah. Everybody came from Adam. But God said the people whom he chose also came out of Adam. Okay. Those people that he also chose, we read earlier that they're called who? The what? Judas. The Israelites. Yes. Yes. Which is who y'all are. Yes. Read on. That's what I'm saying. All this have I spoken before thee, uh -huh. O Lord, because thou thou madest the world for our sake. Wait a minute. So the Bible says God made the world for the Israelites' sake. That's right. Wait a minute. So not only did God say you was his chosen people, not only did he say you was above everybody else, but he also made the world, the stars, everything. He made it for you. He ain't made it for nobody else. Right. Hey, Justin, you hear that? You know what I just said? As an Israelite, God just said he made the world for your sakes and not everybody else. That's right. You ain't never heard that, Justin, have you? Because you thought it was for everybody. Read on. As for the other people. Now, we, now John, come on now. You know we got people that's going to be like, hey, what about the other people? What about the other people? What about the, what about the, uh, what is it, the Japanese? What about the Chinese? What about the other people? God love other people. As for the other people. As for the other people, which also come of Adam. Because they came out of Adam too. Thou hast said, God has said, that they are nothing. That they are what? They are nothing. God right. said all the other nations that came out of Adam are nothing. Right. I got you. Thank you so much. But be like what? But be like unto spittle. What is spittle? What's spittle, Brian? What's spittle? He said they ain't nothing. They shall be like spittle. Yep. They like spit. Right. Listen. Listen. John, we ain't make this up, man. No, this is something God. we just reading. I'm God. All right, you my man, bro. Hey, stay up, man. Hey, keep the commandments. You all right, Moose. You all right. You all right, bro. God said that other nations outside of Israel are like spit to him. Right. Did I make that up? Read it again for him. Verse 56. As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. What did God say about the other nations? Read. But... Be like unto spittle. Did I say that? Or did God say they like spit? He said it. Right. It's okay. What's your name, sis? Kiana. You said what? Karen? Kiana. Kiana. It's okay, Kiana. You can say it. Right. God 
Israelites are the other nations are like spit. Right. They're not Israelites. Read on. And has likened the abundance of them. So he likened the abundance of them. You can check all of them together. Read. And likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. If you, hey John, you ever been working out in the yard and you had a bucket of water? John, you ever been holding a bucket of water? You walking down the street. Oh, you walking in your backyard. A little drop fall, a fall out. What you care about? You care about that drop? You said no? Keanu, you care about that drop? Did I say it right, Keanu? John, you care about that little drop that fell out? God said he liked all the other nations as a drop that fall out of a vessel. Meaning they're nothing to him. That's right. He created them so they can be your slaves. Right. But what happened? Who are slaves today? Is it them or is it us? Uh-oh. It's us. Keep reading. Nah, no, keep reading. Read. Verse 57. And now, O oh Lord, behold, these heathen. These heathens, meaning every nation that's outside of the Israelites. Read. Which have ever been reputed as nothing. They have always been nothing to the Most High. Always. Read. Have begun to be lords over us. And to what? And to devour us. Why have these heathens now begin to be over us if we're the chosen people of God? Now give me Deuteronomy 20. Why have they begun to rule over us and devour us if we are the chosen people of God? Why? How you doing, sis? Let me ask you a question, sis. Yes, you. Come here, ma'am. Let me ask you a question. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Are our people on the on the top today or are they on the bottom? Why are we on the bottom if everybody else is on top if God only loves us? Right. Oh, you see her face? I said God only loves us, sis. You ever heard of that? That's yes, right. So you so God don't love everybody. Right. He don't. Don't go nowhere, sis. You an Israelite, sis. Read that flyer. Why have they begun to rule over us? I'ma show you. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Right. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe, to do all his commandments. So the Bible says if you don't listen to God to do all his commandments, read, and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. John, what is a curse? Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? He said it could be a good thing or a bad thing. What you said? That's what you said? Okay, that's what Vaughn said. What you say, Kiana? A curse. Hold up, Vaughn. I ain't talking about a curse word. 16, 11, King James. I ain't talking about a curse word. I ain't talking about somebody doing something crazy and you going off on. So you said go either way? What do you say? Curse. A, a curse. Jeremiah 11, 11. Hold on. Jeremiah 11, 11. Either or. Either or. Watch this. A curse can go either or. Okay. Jeremiah 11, 11. Watch this. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 11, verse 11. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will bring evil upon them. So in one verse, God said he would bring curses upon them. In this verse, he said he would bring evils upon them. Read. Which they shall not be able to escape. If you are put into a state or into a situation, something evil that you cannot escape, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Is that going either way? Then what is a curse in that regard? It's a bad thing. Because God will put something upon you, an evil, which is some, which it aligns with curse, that you cannot escape. Have we been able to escape the things that we have been uh, put into since we've been over here in this land? We haven't been able to escape because we're still on the bottom. That's right. So we ain't been able to escape. So drop that, now I go back to Deuteronomy. So when God said he would bring these curses upon us, he's saying what? Evils that you will not be able to what? Escape. Escape. That makes sense? Yeah. Verse 32. Yeah. Unless you got something from me. Hey, do a thing. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. A curse that we was not gonna be able to escape is that God said your sons and your daughters will be given unto another people. What other nation of people on this earth, outside of blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, put them to the side. Who else had their children taken from them 
and they was never able to see him again. Real? What other nation? Nobody. Did it happen to us? Y'all yeah. seen Roots, 12 Years of Slavery, all these slave movies, y'all seen them. They was able to take our children and there was nothing we was able to do about it. Right. That was an evil that we was not able to escape. That's why it was a curse. We are, lying, we are showing you these things because God says, my people in the future are gonna say they're African Americans. They're gonna say they're black. Or they're gonna say, I just really don't know. And when we read these curses, they're gonna be able to identify themselves and say, wait a minute, that happened to my people. Wait, what, that happened to my people. Wait a minute, if that happened to my people, and this happened to my people, and Christ died for those people, I must be those people. Right. Everybody can't say that. Right. A Chinese person can't read this and say, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My people got taken too. Where that? We got Google. This is the age of information, technology. Look it up. Make your plain. Tell Sean I want to show it to him. Read that. Oh, yeah. Read. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Watch this. And thine eyes. And your eyes. Shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. When you watch Roots, when they took the children, what was her name? Kizzy? Yeah. What was she doing when they took her children? She just looked, she was crying. She was failed and longful all the day long. Could we do anything to get our children back when we was in slavery, John? Because there was an evil we wasn't able to what? Escape. That's why a curse can't go either way. Right. It's only one way, which That's was right. evil. And God said he would do it because his people would not listen to his commandments. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's Nation Tyson. Oh!